G'day, welcome back to the channel. My name's Matt, but you will know me as WFX Malice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up port forwarding for game and game servers on the Belkin routers. Let's get started. So recently I've seen a lot of troll tutorials getting out there telling people to set up port forwarding by opening up DMZ on their router. DMZ stands for Demilitarized Zone. It tells your router that there is no possible chance or no imminent threat of an attack from the internet through your computer and to allow all forms of traffic through all ports directly through your games rig. It's not a good thing. That leaves your software firewall as your only line of defense against an attack. Yep. You always want your router to be your first line of defense. That should mitigate most attacks and only allow things through ports that you've opened to your computer so then your software firewall can then go and manage those few attacks that might potentially slip through the cracks. Now I know what you're thinking, ah, it's all good, I use the Windows uh, firewall. Microsoft aren't good at stopping attacks or threats. Um, I'm just gonna put this in perspective. I'm just gonna point out that the Bill Gates Foundation is a major sponsor of the Wuhan Research Laboratory. I'll just let that sink in for a second. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to set up port forwarding correctly on your router to only allow ports to be opened for particular traffic, so particular games or game servers. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to log on to your router's management portal. Now this is gonna be a default gateway essentially. If you're not sure what that is, go to command prompt and type in IP config, you'll see default gateway. I guarantee it's gonna be something like 10.0.0.1 or 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1. Unless you've changed it, it's gonna be one of those three addresses by default. And Username and password is usually something along the lines of admin, admin, or admin password. Look on the bottom of your router or look on the little card that came with your router, it's gonna tell you that information. Once you're in your router, follow these steps. From the side menu, select virtual servers. In this example, we're gonna host a Minecraft server on one of our virtual machines. So give it a description, it doesn't matter what it is. Then we're gonna use the stock standard Minecraft port for both internal and external, 25565. Then we're gonna point it at the IP address of where the virtual machine is, 192.168.2.10 in this example. Now on this router, inbound port is your external or WAN and private port is your internal or LAN. What about if we wanna host a second Minecraft server on a different virtual machine? Well, that's fine. Let's create a new rule and we need to advertise a different external port. We can still use the same internal port so we don't need to change any of the server settings, but your friends will need to make sure they're typing in that port 25567 to connect. What about if we wanna host them both on the same virtual machine? You can do that as well. We just need to make sure we're advertising two different external port ranges and two different internal port ranges of 25565 to 25567. And you need to make sure you go into the server properties of one of your Minecraft servers and change that port to 25567. Yes, your friends will need to connect to 25567 to get onto that server. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create a rule for GTA Online. For anyone who's been getting that NAT strict rule error, it's been causing problems with people connecting and making it very slow to load into games. So there's two different ports that we need to advertise. One is a range and one's an individual port. So we need two different rules on this particular router. In the first one, we're gonna put 6672 and select UDP, and we're gonna point it to where our game's machine. Now in this example, it's a bad example. It's going to the same IP address as where the Minecraft server's being hosted. But let's just say that's the IP address of our gaming rig. In the second rule, we're going to select the port range 61455 to 61458 for both internal and external, and once again, point it to our gaming rig, 192.168.2.10. And then we should have no problems connecting to GTA Online. And that's as simple and as difficult as it gets. If your route is different to the one I've shown in this video, check out my channel, because I may have covered it in one of my other videos. If not, leave me a comment down below with the brand name and the model, and I'll see if I can find an emulator and get you a tutorial up ASAP. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.